Rama Nation, Chris Cobain here, and it is finally time for NPA Week 1. I'm not gonna lie to you, this is the second time I'm recording this because I screwed up the first time. I forgot to put an item on one of my Pokemon, and I was already halfway into uh, challenging Goffy's uh, the battle. And uh, I'm glad I realized that I forgot an item. I actually forgot my uh, my Z Crystal on uh, on Thunders. I, I, you guys probably, if you watch Team but I didn't put it on there yet. Whoopsie! Uh, I have to actually send him a uh, chat or go online real quick. So give me one second. Um, but it is week one, obviously. Uh, I'm battling my boy Goffy's, one of my best friends on Twitch. If you do not watch the Team Builder. Uh, make sure you do me a favor and check out the team builder in the description below. And like I said, in the team builder, please make sure you're following Goff. He's one of my favorite people on the planet. Really good person. Really deserves all the support in the world. Um, twi uh, Twitch.tv slash Goffy's Enigma. Twitter.com slash Goff Raka. And YouTube.com slash Goffy's Enigma as well. He's a very, very good person. Make sure you guys show him some love because he freaking deserves it. Goffy's team's definitely very scary. Definitely got a lot of potential threats on there. Um, Manaphy, Volcanion, uh, me and Shao, Crobat. He's got uh, uh, Pillow Swine, not Mammoth Swine, but Pillow Swine uh, that really works against Zygarde. Uh, so he's got a lot of stuff uh, that can be very, very potent against my team. And uh, we're going to have to do my best to, uh, to work around that. Definitely a very good, very good match coming. Hold on, let me do uh, I actually do not see him online. Um, I'm aware that he is online. Festival Plaza is trash. Never forget. Never forget. Fest uh, Festival Plaza is trash. Hated to death. But I uh, don't see him online right now because of it. So maybe he sees me online. And maybe he can send me a challenge. Or maybe... A nope, there he is. Cool. Making sure we have the communication we need. No, I I freaking set a trade. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh my god, dude. I am freaking out of it. God, all right. Bad sides. Bad sides, chat. <laughs> this is not good. All right, hold on. He's there. We're still. We're fine. Nobody panic. Oh, okay. Okay. Forgot to put an item on Thunderous. <laughs> Sent Goffy's a trade. It's fine. It's fine. This is this is all I'm getting all the failure out before the battle. Okay. It's fine. <coughs> okay, now. Uh we're Sending the battle, uh, making sure the rules are good. Single battle, normal rules, no item claws, all 50. Six Pokemon. Good! We did it! Please have my team in my party. Watch it not be in my party. It's in my party, we're fine! There's my team chat. Woo! We're in there. Good lord. This is, this is all out. I'm making every mistake that I possibly could. <laughs> at least, at least I actually have my team in my party. I don't even, can you give them Z moves? I guess you can when they're in the box, huh? All right, music. Uh, I typically leave my stream with this when we're doing battles, but I, I gotta go with my boy, uh, Guzma. No pun intended there. I gotta go with my boy, Guzma. We gotta get some cool cats up here. Make me feel a little better. By the way, guys, I'm still sick. Uh, so if I'm coughing, I apologize. He didn't bring Volcanian! Really? That's insane. I can't believe it. He brings Manaphy. He brings Pillow Swine. Man, he was really afraid of Doug Trio. But interestingly enough, that was his one solid answer to Scizor. He does bring a Molga. Um, I had a slight feeling he'd be bringing that because of Thunderous. He brings Miltank which is fine. 
and he brings me and Shell. So, uh, in test runs, uh, we, we guessed most of this team. Um, we had Volcanion on him, not Miltank. And instead of a Mulga, I forget what we were running against instead of a Mulga. Um, I'd have to actually look at his team. I'm not sure what it, uh, the full six or full 11. Um, but we were running some, against something else. But he does not bring Volcanion. Very, very, very interesting to know no Volcanion. Uh, so we're going to lead off with my Scarf Azelf here. If he decides to lead off with like his Pivoter, which is going to be Crobat, I can actually catch him off guard really quick and uh, and kill him. Uh, which would be re or if he leads with like Scarf Manchow or something. So we're going to do that. And uh, first, sixth, we got everything. Azelf's correct, okay? What are you doing? Millie's walking into the closet, the door's creaking, and she's like, like, what the hell? Cool cat. Alright, chat. Alright, YouTube, we're here. Let's go. Week one starts now. He leads with... Squishy. Amolga. Okay. Amolga, not something I fear. I do feel like it's going to have Hidden Power Ice. In fact, I would I would bet on it. It's not going to have Static, though. It's going to have Motor Drive. It would be stupid if it had Static. Um, I fully expect Hidden Power Ice on this thing. 100%. No question. There's also a chance he just clicks it here. But I don't want to risk taking a paralysis. I'm way too important to the team. Yeah. Yeah, way too important to the team. So we're just going to turn out. See if he maybe makes a switch. He does not switch, clearly. We do, uh... Pretty good damage, all things considered. This gives me a chance to go ahead and pick what I want to switch into. Hold on a second, let me open up my bottom screen. I know you guys can't see it, but it'll help me. Alright, so I do fully expect Hidden Power Ice. Um, without Volcanion, I'm trying to debate how bad I actually need Doug Trio. And honestly, not all that much. So let's go into him here. He actually goes right for Discharge. And he's Leftovers. Okay. So where's my thing here? Let's see. So he is uh, Leftovers. Interesting. And he's got uh, Discharge. Okay. Most of me just wants to click Sucker Bunch right now. Um, he's not trapped. He's aware of that. I would assume he's aware of that. Let me go for Sucker and see what happens. He does switch out. <coughs> and he goes into Barney Rubble, which is Miltank Mike? No, he goes into Pillow Swine. Okay. So Pillow Swine's probably going to go ahead and set up Rock's turn one here, if I had to take a guess. It would make the most sense. So we're just going to switch directly into Scizor here. Um, we have to make sure I can keep rocks off the field. For sure. I need to get rocks up as well. No, he actually goes right for Avalanche. Which does, uh, nothing. In general. No, because I'm Scizor. Alright, Chris, click the mega button! I did it! Achievement unlocked! Mega on turn one! In week one! We're in there. Alright. Do I bullet or do I U-turn here? I'm f faster than him, which is annoying. Who would I go into if he stayed in? Probably back to freaking. Let me just U-turn.
he does switch out cool so we're actually gonna get momentum here a lot of it and he goes into mill tank okay so let me think what I want to do against mill tank here so we're gonna get the u-turn out I could go into thunderous and we could try focus blast right now but he's not ooh he's not that defensive Do I just go for a thousand arrows here? Let's go for Zygarde. First thousand arrows of the season, boys. I don't know if I want to set up Coil, though. Let's not. I'm not going to set up Coil. I'm just going to go right for thousand arrows. Zygar is not actually all that important without Volcanion, to be honest, so. And he can't be, re he doesn't even have a resistance to this at all. We know that this, I'm a completely not offensive at all on Scizor. He's, uh, he's got four uh, offensive investment and all defensive, so this thing's really offensive. And in fact, it might be faster than me, now that I'm thinking about it. But if it is, that's fine. He switches out. Now, what's he go into here? He jumps into Pillow Swine. Pillow Swine takes it pretty well. Oh, uh, that was actually a crit. Oh, wow, he takes it very well. Holy crap. Okay. 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 So he takes that very well. He's very, very defensive. He's probably got some defense, uh, defensive investment, <coughs> to be honest with you. Um, he's obviously max HP. There's no reason for a Pillow Swan not to be. Can I have go? Oh, maybe I should have went no pulling on there. That would have been risky. I could have done it. I should have done it. Let's see what happens here. Let's go for U-turn. He actually switches out again, so we're going to get more momentum. He goes back into Utters. And yet again, he's going to take some damage here. He might just be specially defensive. It's, it's hard to say, to be honest. Well, I see no reason not to jump into Zygarde again. We, uh, we have leftovers, so we're going to remove the rocks damage because we resist it. And uh, we, can, we get to fire another 1,000 arrows off. If he decides he wants to go back into, into uh, Pillow Swine again... We're just going to chip him a little bit more. And the more we chip him, the better off we are. We see that we uh, completely uh, remove that damage. I can also click Toxic here. Um, he only has Crobat to be immune to that. And I don't really care. If he goes back into Pillow Swine, it's helpful. But uh, the only thing about that is... Is, uh, is that... Miltech likes to run Heal Bell. Which is annoying so we're actually just going to thousand arrows again he switches out again he goes back into pillow swine so we're we're just seeing the uh the switch plays being made here okay i again could go into empoleon here which would allow me to defog Hmm. I'm not even writing down moves to be honest. I should be. Uh, my bad. So we know we know that Pillow's Eviolite. We know that he's got Avalanche, as opposed to Icicle Crash, and we know that he's got Rocks. Milt Tank hasn't actually revealed anything yet. He doesn't have leftovers. He doesn't have Rocky Helmet. We know that. Crobat, me and Shadow Man, if we have not made appearances. So, we're, we're just going to play safe, jump into Scizor. If he makes a prediction here, which he could, we'll work against that other ways. Does he go for EQ? He does go for EQ. Okay. So, we know he's got EQ, but you're going to see this does nothing. Zero damage. Like a banded one can't even sue hit me. We're just going to roost this off. May give him a little bit of momentum here, but if he does, if we do, we do. 
If we give him some momentum, we give him some momentum. I'm okay with that. I'd like to see him go into Manaphy, to be honest. He goes into Prince. Good. Cool. So I don't think he clicks any any move here, uh, uh, any uh, statusing move. I, I would highly doubt that, to be honest. It is possible, but I don't see it happening. If he goes for uh, Tail Glow, uh, then uh, then we'll have to we'll have to roar him turn one. But if he goes for anything else, it's going to allow me to go ahead and defog and potentially set up rocks after that, depending on what he's doing. If he just tried to outdo me with like uh, energy ball or something, then we can actually just fight him directly, and uh, and we can actually defog rock and then roar him out, or go for a burn. Maybe I don't really know. It's possible we could just try for a burn, but I'd probably just roar him out to be honest. Simple play on my part. He goes for hidden power. It's hidden power fire. Um, interesting. See, it would either be Hidden Power Fire, or it wouldn't be Hidden Power Ice, because he got Ice Beam. It's, it is Hidden Power Fire. Very interesting to note. Um, my only, my only thought on that would be that he would be running that so he wouldn't need a Tail Glow to fight Scizor. We, we haven't seen an item, obviously, but he does have, and I'm, a, I'm positive that's Hidden Power Fire. I was worried when he clicked it, it was going to be electric, or something of the like, to be super effective against Napoleon, but it's not, so. So we're going to use this opportunity to click the fog. If he wants to stay in, that's fine. He can't really do much to me. Um, even Energy Ball is going to do very little. If he wants to click Rain Dance, that's or like Z Rain Dance, that's fine. I can roar him out. Watch him click like, watch him be like. Z rain dance and then like some item that oh wait you can't do that you'll have ingrain there you go I can't roar him out I know he can't learn that's a joke chat chill <clears throat> I wonder if his uh mill tank is earthquake I'm assuming it does I'd be shocked if it did have earthquake actually <coughs> Switches out, goes into Wusa. Wow. Very risky. Very, very risky. Okay. He predicted my default and uh, goes right to me and Chow. So, uh, my main concern here is is he scarfed? Let me see how much damage a, a shot would do to Scizor real fast. So we got we got Scizor, Mega, Bulky. We're literally max defense in every way. We're even impish. And against like a Me and Xiao here. Me and Xiao. Just check uh, Choice Scarf. High Jump Kick does 40. Uh, 45. If it's scarfed, if it's like uh, that's even reckless. If it's life orb, it would do fifty. It would easily do fifty. But either way, we're able to switch in on. Let's let's go ahead and go into Scizor. We're gonna make the safer play and see what he does. If it clicks fake out or something, he makes a he makes a very big misplay. He goes for U turn. Does he have life orb damage? <coughs> No. No life orb damage. Probably going to be Scarfed, I'm assuming. But we know he's got U-turn. Not that that's a shock. They all carry that. Who's in a Miltank? Why? It's gonna use turn. Okay. No drinks in my face. Okay. Kind 
Okay, fair enough. So it's the first time he's revealed a move. It is Milk Drink. Not really a surprise, to be honest. It's known as Zygarde. And let's go for another thousand arrows. If he's taking about 40-ish, maybe a little less than 40-ish, maybe closer to 30-ish percent, 33-ish percent from U-turn from a non-invested Scizor, you know Zygarde's going to hit him hard with thousand arrows. So we're going for 15 minutes, not a single kill yet. He switches out, he goes into Prince. Interesting. Very interesting. How defensive are you? You're not. No leftovers. Okay, back to Napoleon. Here's my chance to set rocks. Which is actually going to be huge because of Amolga. Ironically. And Pillow's one. <coughs> His only hazard control is Crobat's weak to, uh, weak to rocks. We can bait that with, uh... With Azelf. And he's got no switching for Psychic. Azelf hasn't been able to do anything yet. But uh, he's actually huge this game. Like 100%. Especially now that we really chip Pillow Swine. And we're actually... Uh, we're actually have Miltank pretty chipped as well as uh, right now. The only Pokemon... And actually we have uh, Manaphy chipped. Um, so we get a little bit of rocks on the, on the field here. We might just be looking at a, a straight Azelf sweep to be honest. So he stays in, unless he's slower than me, which would be weird. He goes for Ice Beam, which is complete trash uh, for this, because even if it freezes me, I can click Scald. It doesn't. There's rocks. Sweet. Okay. Good. Rocks will make the field right now. 100%. We're putting those up. And we'll see what he does with it. I feel like I'm in a positive position here. Crobat we still haven't seen. And what was my reveal discharge? Trying to make sure I have all the moves that I've seen. Uh, I actually didn't write down Ice Beam. I knew he'd run that, but, you know. I'm still in shock that they decided to go against Volcano. I understand why. Was that? A Mulliga, okay. I get <coughs> why they didn't bring him because of Doug Trio. But what really is crazy about that is the fact that Volcanium was such a good response to 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 Scizor and to Empoleon. And that without him, they're both free. Again, I don't need Doug Trio here in this match. We're going to go into him. We have rocks up. We're in, we're in a spot here. If he decides to go for Electra again, fine. If he goes for a hidden power of some sort, that's fine as well. He goes for knockoff. Ooh. Okay, so my sash is gone. Not that that matters. It really doesn't because my item was a sash. Uh, I'm not going to lie to you. No, no idea he got that. And we're just gonna sucker punch again. See if he see if he decides to attack me. <coughs> if he doesn't, we get rocks damage. Fine either way, to be honest. If he does stay in, then we get some we get some uh, some damage on him, which is uh, either way it's fine. He does stay in. He goes for subs. Ooh boy. Okay. 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 I actually can't do anything to him here. I'm positive his last attack's in Parise. I would like to see that. I'm gonna go for reversal. I know that makes no sense, but we're doing it anyway.
Okay, so his last move was Baton Pass. Good to know. What does he go into? Whatever he goes into, we can try to break it sub unless it's Crobat, but I don't fear Crobat at all. So his only attacking moves are Discharging Knockoff. He's actually just fodder against Zygarde. We'll break my leftovers, I guess, but I could, I could sub through that. And coil spam if it's if it's possible. Okay. We're gonna use this opportunity to break the substitute. I'm a hundred percent not gonna allow him to attack me here. <coughs> to set up on me. We're just gonna break sub right now. Million percent. He can do whatever he wants. If he wants to set up Z Rain Dance, that's fine. Uh, then we'll just die next turn. He's scarfed! Okay. is what does he do now well that's not gonna matter after rocks and bullet you're dead that's why he's got him power fire I like it I actually like it that's pretty cool <coughs> props so his last move on man if he's gonna be scald or hydro whichever let's go for bullet Goodbye. Poor, uh, poor Miltank did nothing in that fight. Uh, boom, boom. Uh, let's see. Sizz. Kills. And Manaphy, uh, killed Doug. Where does he go now? <clears throat> He's going to probably have to go back into Manaphy. <coughs> if I'm being honest. Scarf? I, 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 I really like that Scarf Manaphy set. I really, really do. It's 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 pretty much bait for, uh, for Thunderous, which I think is pretty cool. He can uh, outspeed and hit me with an Ice Beam. I like that a lot. I like that a lot. But the question now is what does he do? I'm going to calc to see if a bullet kills Manaphy if he brings it in. I'm actually going to calc that now. No reason not to. He's, he's a little under 50. So we're no offense at all. We're 4-8, we're 4 eight, four attack, plus 2 against a Manaphy. Um, we'll just say Tail Gold plus 3 attacks. It's got no bulk investment. A plus 2 bullet's not going to kill. A plus 2 bullet's only doing... Uh, little about 30 ish and he's got way more than that so we know better <coughs> we just go into uh and do napoleon click scald i don't think he was ready for uh, he goes into uh pillow swine and that's just a free bullet punch okay I'm not sure what he was going for there. Maybe he misclicked? He may have misclicked? I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. 
He's, uh, maybe, I, I'm assuming he misclicked. He goes back into Amolga, who I two-tap now. I might just one-hit him, in all honesty. I do. This is not good. Bull's gonna kill him too. <coughs> even if it doesn't, he can't kill me with a single hit, even if he's banded. High jump kick's not one tapping me. It'll it'll do a lot, but it's not gonna one tap. But bullet punch is gonna kill him as well. Oh boy. Triple kill for uh, you boys is back to back to back bullet punches, and ironically, what's killing him is the mana fee. I wonder if a single hit by a fire even kills me. I actually should probably count that. doesn't no it doesn't not even remotely close all things considered And that's five for Scizor. And we're just going to Azelf and hit him up with a freaking uh, Psychic. Could also go into, uh, what's this called? The, the Thunderous, but whatever. Take what we can get. And Crobat did, does actually nothing. It doesn't even make an appearance until the, de the end of him. Well, there you go, boys. Week one. We did it. Week one against Gavis. We pick up a slick 5-0. 5-0, Doug's the only guy who goes down. So, obviously, we have to save this. Um, drop him a GG, and uh, there you go. We pick up we pick up the first one of the season. We start off one and zero, very very good, and uh, Scizor starts off with five kills and no deaths. I honestly could have. Swept him. I think I could have got away with it, but I didn't want to risk. I knew he was gonna empire fire. I could have two tapped him with bullet. I okay, it saved. Cool. I was hoping. Uh... Um, but uh, I didn't. I didn't want to risk Scissor dying there. I felt like it wasn't worth it for him to die. Um. But, uh, that's it. The Blaze, or the Blazikins, wow. The Braviaries, excuse me, start 1-0. Mega Scizor starts off 5-0 with Azelf picking up the final kill on Crobat. And, uh, we start off hot. We'll take it. We'll take it. Uh, GG, my boy Goffy's, like I said, guys, make sure you're following him, subscribing to him on YouTube, all that fun stuff. He's a really, really good friend of mine. And, uh, love the man to death, so make sure you show him some love. <coughs> uh, GG, Omi. Thank you for the battle, bro. I appreciate it. And good luck with the rest of your season. This That's it for me, guys. Next week, I don't know who we take on. I, I feel like 
I, but I'm pretty sure whoever we take on is Victini. I'm, I think. I think I recall that, uh, but I'm not sure who it is. But uh, uh, that'll be uploaded next Saturday, guys, of course. Uh, team Builder coming at some point during the week. Thank you guys for watching week one. I appreciate it. Make sure you like uh, and subscribe if you haven't done so yet to show support to your Philadelphia Braviaries. We're pushing for the championship this season, guys. Uh, you guys enjoy the rest of your day, and I will see you all in week two. All right? All right, peace, Ramination. See you guys next time.